Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to add this thank you page to your sales funnel, which confirms that someone has successfully obtained or completed a desired action from your sales page. So let's get into it. Okay, so starting out creating our thank you page, we simply need to hover over pages to select add new. So I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. Now, once that opens up, we simply need to select this tab and in here, we want to title this page as thank you. And once we've titled this page, whatever we want to, we simply need to click on edit with Elementor. Okay, so the next thing we want to do in here will be to get rid of the header and the footer. Now to do this, we simply need to come down to this settings icon to select that. And for our page layout, we want to select default and we want to change this to Elementor Canvas. So I'm just going to select Elementor Canvas and in here we can see it says no header, no footer, just Elementor. And once we've done that, we simply need to click on publish. So we can simply refresh this just to make sure we are not seeing the head on footer. Now, the next thing we want to do will be to add our section in here. Now to do that, we simply need to hover over this cross icon, which says add new section. So I'm just going to select that. And for our structure, we want to select these three columns. So the next thing we want to do will be to change this to full width. Now to do that, we simply need to come down to content width and want to select box to full width. Now coming down to style, we want to change the background color of this section. So for our background type, we want to select classic. And for our color, we want to change this to hashtag 420013. Now the next thing we want to do will be to change the column width for these two sections, which is the left and right column. So I'm just going to select this column and for our column width, we want to change this to 25%. And also for this right column, we want to select edit column and for our column width, we want to change this to 25% as well. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in our element in this middle column. But just before we do that, we want to change the background type for this column to white. Now to do that, we simply need to click on edit column and we want to select style. Now for our background type, we want to select classic and for our color, we want to change this to white. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in this image right here. So to do that, we simply need to come back to our thank you page and want to select this icon and want to drag and drop our image widget in here. Now coming down here, I want to choose an image. So I'm just going to select this and I'm just going to select this particular image and click on insert media. Now coming back to our widgets, I'm just going to drag and drop our inner section underneath this image. And next thing we want to do will be to delete one of these columns in here. So I'm just going to delete this first one. And in here, we want to put in whatever text or message we want to send across to the customer that actually made a purchase landing on the thank you page. So in here, we can see we have congratulations, your order has been placed. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. So just to save time, I'm going to copy this and we are going to paste it in here. I'll be leaving all this in the description box so you can simply copy that and replicate it if this is what you want to do. So coming back to our design canvas in here, we want to drag and drop our text editor in here. So to do that, we simply need to select this icon here to go back to our widgets. And we want to drag and drop our text editor into this column. Now in here is where we tend to put in our text we just copied. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to paste this as a plain text. So we want to come down to style and want to center align this. But just before we make any customization to this, let's come back to our content. Coming back here, we can see more emphasis is being laid on your order has been placed. So let's change our text color to green in here. So to do that, I can simply highlight all this and want to come down to text color to select this icon in here and I'm going to change it to green and we can see how this looks right now. So just before we start making customizations to this text in here, let's just make a little adjustment to this column by changing the background color to this and also adding a little bit of style to this before making customization to our text in there. Now coming back to our design canvas, I'm just going to select this column and we want to come down to style. So in here for our background type, we want to click on classic and for our color, we want to change this to hashtag 1A0000. 
Okay, so this is how it's going to be looking like. But just before we leave this, we can add a little bit of style to this section just before we start making edits to this text in here. So to do that, we simply need to come down to our border width and want to change our border type to double. Now for our width, we want to change this to four for the top, the right, the bottom and the left. Now for our color, we want to select color and in here we want to change this to hashtag 00FF00. Next up, let's make edits to our text in this column. So I'm just going to select this text in here and we want to come down to style. So for the other text that wasn't edited in here, we can simply make edits to those texts by making customization to this text color. So I'm just going to select that and we want to drag this to white. Now for our typography, let's select this. And for our font family, let's select default and want to change this to Roboto. So I'm just going to select Roboto and for our text size, let's change this to 21 pixel. And for our font width, let's change this to 600. But just before we leave this section, let's add in a little bit of padding to the top and bottom. So I'm just going to select this column and want to come down to advanced. And for our padding, let's change this to 30 pixels. Okay. But if we look at this, we can see we have more spacing at the bottom than the top. So I'm just going to unlink all values here and I'm going to reduce this to 20 pixels for the bottom only. And that is it for this section. Now the next thing we want to do will be to add in our copyright section. So coming back to our design canvas, I'm just going to duplicate this. And in here, we can simply delete this element in here. So I'm just going to delete this too. I'm just going to change the background color to black. So I'm just going to select style and for our color, we want to change this to black. Now, the first thing we want to add in will be our copyright website name and all right reserve. So coming back here, I'm just going to click on this column to go back to our widgets and I want to drag and drop our heading into this column. So I'm just going to copy and paste this just to save time. So coming back to our design canvas, I will just highlight all this and then paste as a plain text. Now, this is how it's going to be looking like, but to add in a little bit of brick in here so we can have this section directly below this copyright and our website name. So I'm just going to put in a little bit of code in here. So I'm just going to put in these figures. The next thing I want to do will be to center align this. So I'm just going to select center and want to come down to style. For our text color, we want to change this to white. Now coming down to our typography, we want to change our font family to comic new. And for our font size, we want to change this to 18 pixels. And for our width, we want to change this to 600. And that's all we need to do for this section. Now, the next thing in here is our terms and condition privacy policy, as well as our disclaimer links. So I'm just going to copy all this. We want to come back to our widgets and I want to drag and drop the text editor directly below this copyright or right to reserve. So in here, I'm just going to paste this as a plain text. So coming down to style, we can simply come down to alignment and change this to center align. And for our text color, we want to change this to hashtag 1D7ACA. So moving on to our typography, I simply need to select that and want to change the font family to comic new as well. So I'm going to select comic new and for our size, we want to change this to 14 pixels. So I'm going to change the font size to 14 pixels and for our weight, we want to change it to 600. Now the last one will be our disclaimer text. So I'm just going to copy this. Coming back here, we can simply come back to our widgets and I'm going to drag and drop this directly below this text editor. So I'm just going to highlight all this and I'm going to paste as a plain text. Now coming back to style. We want to center align this and for our text color, we want to change this to white. For our typography, we want to select this pencil icon and for our font family, we want to change this to comic new. And for our width, let's just change this to 600 pixels. And basically that's all you need to do for this section. Now coming down here, let's just add in a little bit of padding at the bottom and also at the right and left. So I'm just going to select this column and come down to advanced. I want to make this 30 pixel for all sides. Okay. So once we've done that, we can see we have more padding at the bottom than the top. So I'm just going to unlink this as well and reduce this to 20 pixels. And um, basically that's all we need to do to be able to create a thank you page. Now coming down to our responsive mode, I'm going to select tablet 
And in here, we can see if we close this, we can see this is not looking great. Now let's open this up. And in here, we can simply make edits to both sides of this section. So let's select this. And for our column width, let's change this to 10%. And for our main section, let's select that and come down to layout. And for our column width, let's change this to 80%. And also for our right column, let's change this to 10% as well. Now the same applies here. So I'm just going to select this column and in here, I'm going to put in 10% for our main section, come down to layout. And in here, we want to put in 80% and for our right column, let's change this to 10%. Now, if we close this up, we can see how this looks like right now. And this looks pretty nice. Now coming down to the mobile version, if I select responsive mode, I can simply select mobile and we can see how this looks. So let's close this up and this is basically how it's going to be looking like. So in here, you can just make edits to the text by changing the font size to whatever font size that is most preferable to you. So I'm just going to leave this at 16 pixel. And if we close this up, we can see how this looks. So you can also make edits to this as well as by reducing the font size. So once you're done, you can simply click on update and whenever someone makes a purchase, they can simply be redirected to this page after they've carried out a desired action. So basically that's all we need to do to be able to create a thank you page on your website. So if you did get value from this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And until next time, take care.